Well, welcome back to Just Drive It. We're going to take and show you a few items today. So come along with us as we start working on the gas tank for this here 68 Fairlane. Since we've had a little back and forth with uh, Bear Rose about 68 vehicles, I'm going to take and show you what uh, the difference between what he was having to deal with and what I was having to deal with. As you can tell from this picture, the fair lane in 69, which was an intermediate, is actually going to be like the Mustang in the fact that the gas tank actually forms the floor. Some people like it, some people don't, but this actually makes it easier to get in and out than what he had to deal with. So, next step. One of the things I didn't have to deal with that some people would have to, this one already had, you can see the screw holes. The screws were out of it there, and this is a feel at the bumper. And you can see where the holes were open there as well. We do have one of the pieces that actually worked with that. Let me see here. Here's one of them right here. Those actually have to come loose. You have this wire, which comes in here, goes down. You have to disconnect that from your sending unit and you need to disconnect your hose. Once that's done, you see some vent lines here that we're working with, but that's pretty much what you're down to in order to get this thing out. It's very, very easy. You just have to clean out your trunk first. All right, sometimes you gotta take a wrestle with it. This one has already been out today when we were cleaning. But basically, pick up on the back end, slide it up and out, and this sucker's out. I'm gonna set this on the ground over here. And we're gonna give you another look at the bottom. So, pickup's the same thing as what you had on uh, the one that Bear Rose had done. We just have to take that slip ring, work it out of uh, position, and that all comes out. And we'll see what the inside of this thing looks like. I know from trying to get my bore scope, which didn't want to function properly yesterday, that there's probably some rust in here. So we're gonna have to see what we can do. We may have to get a new uh, tank. I really don't want to get a new tank. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to get a new uh, sending unit or at the very least the little filter that goes on the end of it. But we'll test from here on out. Ian volunteered to clean up the stuff right there. He's using a wire brush. That way he doesn't have to run the camera and I do right now. <laughs> He's been helping me today. But we're just cleaning it up real good and then we'll come back through and instead of just hitting on one of the little tabs because there's multiple tabs on the ring for this, we're actually going to go through and do it in a more even process. I find that it actually works a little bit better. So next step. Alright, on this one right here, I found that the easiest thing to do was to get the two opposite ones hit here, hit here, just move it back and forth, one hit at a time, and it'll come off. Now, we cleaned up around this so that we didn't drop a bunch of, bunch of dirt in here. You're actually gonna have to kind of maneuver this thing as it comes through, because as you see, you got a float that's a little different, and this has got an angle to it. Now, that is actually, pretty doggone good shape I'm surprised I mean you can smell varnish here but that's looking good this is gonna cut go on top we need to keep this together but I mean I don't know if you can see down in there 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 is some corrosion but not too bad on the top what I'm gonna have to start looking at is I'm gonna have to sign a flash shine a flashlight down in there and see what it looks like on the bottom side but I can smell varnish so I think I'm gonna do like what he'd done with the acetone and the gasoline seal the sucker back up and let it soak some of this stuff up so we're gonna cut this off here let it soak let it sit come back see what it actually looks like once we've uh, made sure that there's no more varnish in here but that's if there's varnish we'll see 
surprise of all surprises there is the tiniest amount of varnish in this tank whoever stored it did a good job they stored it empty there's not hardly anything that could even be considered rust on the floor of this sucker there's just a tiny bit of surface rust and that isn't even scaly on the top so we're looking good on this we're gonna rinse this sucker out and put it back in that's a relief I mean I did not want to buy another tank all right installation reverse of what it was to take it out I definitely even though they like to say these are dangerous vehicles I still like the gasoline here as a truck floor sometimes just for the ease of moving it in and out I know there's arguments pro and con this is the way it was made this is the way it'll be well thankfully we got blessed no big problems with the tank so we'll move on from here and just like that the trunk gets repopulated again all on top of this nice wonderful fuel tank at least we didn't have to change it out thank you for coming along for this this is getting us a little bit closer at least one step closer to doing what we want to do and that's drive it around get out there and make some memories with the boys and give you all the stories and pictures of the beautiful country around here if you liked it please like subscribe rumble if you're on rumble comment it all helps thank you again we'll see you on the next one